Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program which will automatically correct your English spellings. So let me explain you in more detail what we are going to create. So first of all, we'll take a txt file in which we'll store a string which will have the incorrect spellings then we'll create a python program which will first extract the string or text from that txt file scan it for errors correct the spelling error and then overwrite onto that txt file so let's see what is the system requirement for this project you will only need one external package which is called text blob uh, text blob just press enter and this package will be installed for you so with this being said let's get started with the programming okay so now we are into our editor let's first import our libraries from text blob import text blob make sure that the first t and the b is capital now we'll use the file handling to first read the data from our txt file so we'll open our file one dot txt so let's create that txt file okay new txt file one doc dot txt let's open this and let's write something he is grad person let's save this okay so the method we'll be using to read this will be r plus then we'll read the lines file one dot read la no actually only read because read lines will give the list output and the read class or the read command will give the string output okay so let's print our outputs original text and then our variable str of a okay so let's create a variable b and then the text blob class this will convert into the data type of text blob so print corrected text will be and then we'll write that magical command which will automatically convert the text for you there should be a plus actually uh, yep there should be a plus so let's write that magical command dot correct and this is it yeah actually this is the text blog class correct which will automatically correct all the spelling mistakes from this b uh, text blob data type so we'll print this also okay so let's close our file the reading part is done we'll close our file and then reopen our file with w or write method uh, one one dot 
txt with the write method and then we'll simply d dot write actually there is one drawback of using read line and this write uh, file handling method that this would take only one line and I'm not that good at file handling so uh, this is the basics of how you can basically correct the spellings now you can do the file handling yourself that how to take multiple lines and all you can do that yourself I won't do that so we'll write uh, the correct spellings and we'll close this so let me quickly explain you once again that what this bit this bit of code is doing first of all we have imported our text blob package and then first we have opened our text file which has the spelling mistakes with the r plus method then we have read our string which is written into one dot txt file then we have simply printed that then we have converted the a which is the extracted string from our text file into a text blob data type then we'll print the b dot correct or here we have corrected the converted string using dot correct method and then printed it by converting it into a string then we have closed our file then we'll again open our file with write method and we have stored the corrected string actually we have overwritten the corrected string into the pre-existing one and then close the file again so let's save this go back to a folder shift plus mouse right click open PowerShell window here python one dot py so there you can see the original text was he is great person the corrected text is he is great person let's see if our text file is edited there you can see that our text file is also edited so this was a short project but you can see that the concept used is is very advanced I mean if you want to make a big project and use this method then this is a very strong method actually and this text blob package can be very useful for you okay so this is it for this video and in my channel I create such small but useful Python programs so if you want to learn more short projects or even some bigger projects like this then just stay on my channel and I'll meet you there bye bye